This is WHRV News. I'm Paul Bebo. We wanted to know what the pandemic looked like and what it felt like to middle school, high school, and college students across Hampton Roads. So we sent packets out with instructions, question sheets, self-addressed envelopes, and disposable cameras to places people might find them. We dropped them in YMCA's, a library, a bowling alley. We wanted people to use the cameras and document their lives during COVID. We got lucky. The first person who answered us was a young photographer. I like taking pictures of myself, I guess you could say. I kind of like take them so they can speak to people. Chloe Robinson is 16. She's in 11th grade at Gloucester High School. She manages to have fun, even now, and she tries to keep a good attitude. I love hanging out with my dad um, and just listening to music. And yeah, I just listen to music, hang out with my dad. and. Chloe has to spend a lot of time at home when she's not working at an ice cream shop. She faces stress from school and life, but also the stress from this unique time. The struggle with school and trying to do it online and just like everything, like not being able to go to your family and then people dying and then you're scared because you can't really talk to your family besides being on the phone. This is serious and we need to act like it's serious instead of just going out to the store and not wearing a mask. Quote, let your smile change the world. Don't let the world change your smile, unquote. That's a caption on one of her photos. She also has a picture of her with her dad and several of her spraying down her home with cleaner. Chloe takes photos to express herself. She wants people to know who she is. That I will love you no matter what and that I care and that they are important in the world and whether or not they know it. They are important and they are needed in the world. There will be a light at the end of the tunnel. You just got to believe. You can find our photo packets at community centers and other public places all over Hampton Roads, from Suffolk to Gloucester. Paul Bebo, WHRV News.